Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, guys, welcome to another great broadcast. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's a dark winter. Well, I know President Joe Biden told us we were in for a dark winter. And I think he was really referring to COVID, but it looks like that it's getting very dark for a lot of small business owners. It looks like it's getting very dark for a lot of people to power out 5 million homes due to unbelievable cold winter conditions. I mean, when the fact that it's six inches of snow in Dallas, when it snows in the Alamo, when there's power outages from Texas to North Dakota and everywhere in between record snowfalls, the Midwest, everywhere you look and another one on the way. And what about the fact people have been cooped up due to this COVID? And what about the folks in the nursing home who haven't had a visitor in a year? People are suffering from a, 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 a disorder called situational affected disorder or SAD. So we're bringing in Ronnie McMullen from GetTheTea.com. Ronnie, great to have you on the broadcast. It's t- thank you very much. I think it's time for us to turn the tables from SAD to happy. That's what we, I'm, we're looking for you for answers. We got to get out of this depression. We got to go through the, the blues, man. I'm tired of the blues. How do we do this? We have to look for the signs. And I'll give you a simple sign right here. And, it, you know, it, it just, it's really about being awake. It's about, you know, because there's so much distraction right now because of the darkness and the dark winter and all this stuff. So let's talk about something simple and I'll give, just give it in my own life. So I'm driving today and it's getting snowy and snowy and crazier and snowing and everything else. And I'm like, boy, I can't hardly see. And within about five minutes, I just was like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about this. I'm not going to fear this. I mean, it was bad. You could hardly see a car in front of you. The sun broke out, everything melted, and it was the most beautiful landscape ever. And then it was just the calm, the storm, and you're out, you're delivered. So point being is, you know, I I think it's how we look at things sometimes. We look at this right now because, you know, we could sit here and we could talk about dark winter and I could say, well, uh, it could be COVID. It, It could be us being cooped up. Maybe our dark winter is because of the administration that we have and that we're listening to. And they, all they did is sign executive orders to confine us and to take away our freedoms and to take away our money and to take away, you know, it's a big takeaway. What? And people are looking at that and they're saying, okay, I'm on this major takeaway and that's depressing me. And, you know, my healthcare issues are no good because it charges so much for nothing. And that's depressing me. And food is harder to get and I got to stay in big lines and wear big fat masks and that's depressing me. And so we have all this depression going on and all this stuff that gets us down when in fact, and, and really we're a part of the star chart, which the star chart is a very negative energy right now. So I think it's time for us to turn the energy. Um, I remember the songs like, come on, get happy, come on, get happy. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah. you know, if we all just danced in the streets a little bit and say, come on, we'll get happy. I know it's a little corny. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm serious. If we change our thoughts, we change our world. That is real. That is science. That is true. So we have to realize that quantum theory is not just theory. It's reality, quantum physics. So if we realize that, we understand that we can change things with the power of thought. And really, if we're going to talk to the creator, we don't even have to mouth it. If we're going to talk to the creator, we can think it. And a lot of people miss that whole piece, just thinking it. So now go back to our worldly things. So we have this dark winter. We have, and we, we can sit here and say it's the chemtrails. Second impeachment. We had to suffer through a second impeachment trial. Yeah, we had to suffer. That, I think that's, there's, you know, that's the key word right there. Suffer. suffer. We've all been suffering since the start of this this shamdemic. Right. And, and the thing that I look at is I go, okay, how do we beat it? Do we take off our mask and throw a fit? That's not going to work. Yeah. Or, or, you know, do we, you know, start up a new website, you know, come against everything they're doing? That's not going to work. They'll just pull it down. So what do we do? They can't, and please listen to this. They can't control us if we're happy. <laughs> they can't control us if we have love. Love is the greatest energy. 
And if we lean into love, you know, what do we say? For God so what? Loved world. the world. He loved the world. So, so love's a powerful energy. And we kind of think of it as a frou-frou thing sometimes, like it's a perfume. But if we think about love as a reality and a, and a true powerful energy, something that overcomes, I think of it as an overcomer. When you grab love and you overcome, the sadness will disappear. You know, even the Bible says, Ronnie, faith, hope, and charity or love. And the greatest of these is love. So you're saying, start confessing it. Start believing it. Start thinking it. And start thinking it. Start our thinking thought is powerful. Think yeah. of our thought. Okay, so like you have a thought. Think of our thought as an arrow. Okay? okay. Now, now target it. Okay, don't just shoot arrows. Because if, if, if we were hungry and we were out in the wilderness and we had to shoot ourselves a deer, good, goodness knows I don't like doing that, but if you had to, you don't want to shoot 45 arrows. You want to shoot one arrow at the right place. Right. So that our thoughts need to be the same. Our thoughts need to be an arrow. Where do you want this love to go? Target it. In other words, target it. Target it. Target it. And target, and, and wait a second, let's get into science now. It's worth nothing unless it's connected to a feeling. So, so when you throw your dart out, you throw your, your arrow out, you target it, okay? But it's still not going to have effectiveness unless you have a feeling. So you feel that, let's say that uh, you're not getting along with somebody and you target the love to that person and you have a feeling that everything's going to get better. You have a feeling that they're going to, here's one, receive the love. Amen. And if we think like this and we pass it along to somebody else and, and somebody watching this right now says, that's kind of cool. I'm going to go share it with my brother or my sister or my friend or whatever. And we keep sharing this and we apply it. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. How many okay. times people okay. say, I want to lose weight, but they don't apply anything. Oh. Apply it. So now we have to apply the arrow, the feeling, put it together. And wait a second, we're going to be out of arrows. No, we're not. That's where the creator comes in. He's always feeling our basket full of arrows. Always, always, always. So if we do this, this is a powerful, powerful way to get out of sad. And here's one more little hint. You're saying, Ronnie, that, you know, we can get ammunition against this. Uh, and it's also a feeling. In other words, depression's a feeling. Yes. Getting the blues, uh, you know, feeling all down and, and, you know, Debbie Downer and all the darkness and all that. That's a feeling. And that yes. can alter your your destiny if you're not careful. Or use some ammunition against it. Use some targeted joy. Use some positive thinking. Start quoting scriptures, uh, start singing a song like you were doing, you know, do, uh, start uplifting, start raising your spirit, you know? That's and it's, what it's hard sometimes when you have all the distraction and all the downers and everything else. But when you realize that you have, see, think about this. Let's, let's go bigger. So the narrative is, here's the narrative and narrative's all dark. And of course, the major tech, big tech companies say, okay, we, we like that because we're a part of that and people are going to buy a bunch of crap because they're sad. Yeah. I don't know how many people spend money on dresses and shirts and shoes and everything else. Cause they're sad. Right. So big, big tech, they're, they're going to, they're going to love the darkness. They love dark winter. Yeah. Yeah. Baby dark summer, dark, dark fall, dark Christmas, dark, what everything dark. Okay. Yeah. Dark cars. No, just kidding. So anyway, so we have dark, everything. Here's one for you. Have you ever seen on the news, it doesn't matter, CNN, MSNBC, and I, those two for sure I know have never put this stuff up, positive things. Now, positive things, not what dress color Taylor Swift is wearing. That's not a positive thing. That's a stupid thing. That falls on the lines of stupid, and stupid is just stupid. But they have, like, you know, uh, somebody rescuing somebody, somebody very rarely will you ever hear any positive. You'll always hear dark. And the reason if you have positive and somebody goes, really, somebody rescued somebody, somebody gave their life for somebody else and they made it, man, make, that, that inspires me. Inspiring, yes. Now we need to be inspired to shoot our arrows. So we need the inspiring. And if we can't get it, we need to make it. Now, what about, one of the 
nutrition. Go ahead. What about nutrition, Ronnie? I mean, is there certain foods you eat will 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 di- bring you down more than others? Is there yes? Sugar lack- is a toxin. So every time you go to sugar, and and let's make sugar a little broader than just you know sweet sweetie pie stuff. When you do a lot of simple carbs. Okay, so you're doing your potatoes, you're doing your French fries, you're doing your potato okay. chips, your okay. corn okay. chips, blah, blah, blah. Okay. When you eat all the simple carbs, simple carbs turn to sugar, sugar's toxins. So those toxins weigh on your brain. So they make your brain think differently. You get addicted. It's very, it's more addictive than cocaine. Can you believe that? Wow. Sugar's more addictive than cocaine. That's a fact. So here we have this sugar and it's bogging us down, causing us inflammation. So if we, now people say, oh, he's going to tell us to go organic. He's going to tell us to go vegan. No, I'm not going to tell you to go vegan. I'm going to tell you to lessen the meat, to up the vegetables and try to get rid of simple carbs. Now, you know, have a simple carb once in a while. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Just don't have three baked potatoes in a sitting. Okay. Have a small baked potato and then go two or three days with no simple carbs, you know, kill the bread kill it kill okay the bread. kill the bread yeah. and then have one piece of bread once a week you know a piece of toast or what you know whatever your favorite thing is but don't have the bowl of ice cream every single night don't do it because yeah. it becomes addictive and you'll watch that one bowl of ice cream you go okay tomorrow i won't do it and the next day you'll do it and the next day you'll do a couple and then oh just give me another little scoop just a teeny bit and you lie to yourself, and the next thing you know, you're taking away from your green nuts. What if I just go away from ice cream and just go to eating pistachio nuts? I mean, just kind of... Pistachio nuts are good, a little fattening, but they're good. Your best nuts are almonds and walnuts. Mm -hmm. Almonds and walnuts are beautiful nuts. Those are lover nuts. (laughs) They got love in their nuts. (laughs) And you, you want those because they're really, really good for you. Okay. Um, you know, everybody loves cashews, a little fatty. I mean, a little bit of the other nuts are fine, but if you're going to really focus on good stuff, you, you know, and sunflower seeds, believe it or not, are really, really good for you too. Yeah. And those are nice on a salad, kind of gives it a crunch. Right. Ronnie, you're telling us that some great things. It's, it's mind over matter. It's, it's joy over depression. You know, it's, it's a merry heart that maketh like a medicine. I think the scripture says. Yeah. But also it's what you put in your body and also it's what you get out of your body. I mean, so toxins start, start building up. And if we don't flush that, if we don't, our heart can be damaged. I know right now you're doing a great, uh, over at get the T.com folks go to www.getthetea.com. That's get the T.com. Ronnie's run a special. It's, it's all about the heart in which he talks about a couple of great products, heart, love, and tea. Can you tell us why you're teaming those up, Ronnie? So I've got heart, love, and tea, and actually niacin's thrown in there too, and we'll talk okay. about those. Heart, love, has got allicin in it, so it's going to take care of some blood pressure. It's going to help you uh, support blood pressure. It's going to help you support healthy veins. It's going to help you support immunity, so it's beautiful. And, of course, if you're eating the wrong thing, you know, you had a wrong meal, you're eating wrong meals, whatever. A lot of people, when I speak, they're in a rut and they don't want just the answer. They want to know how to get to the answer. How do I apply that? Well, you know, the answer is exercise. Okay. What, what do you mean? So point being is they want to know the stair steps between where they are and where they need to be. That's what's really important. So when you feed your brain, when you feed your heart, when you clear your veins, and this is where the niacin comes in, you clean your veins, blood runs through. We don't, we don't want to get clogged up with some kind of clot. That's just not a beautiful thing. No. So you need to take care of your heart. It's really important, which is kind of funny because we were t- talking about dark winter and we we're talking about getting joy and shooting the arrows of love. Okay, what are we talking about? Arrows of love is a heart issue, okay? Joy is a heart issue. Mm. Love is a heart issue. So it's interesting that on this broadcast, we're talking about love in so many different ways. So if you love yourself, and most people don't, did you hear what I said? Most wow. people don't. Okay, most people do not love themselves. If they did, and, they would take care of themselves. And, they? and here's what's interesting. So if you don't love yourself, are you going to take care of yourself? No. Let's go in a simple term. If you don't love the dog, are you going to take care of the dog? Probably not. 
So we need to love ourselves when we say, well, what does that mean? If God made us, and I don't think he makes mistakes, then we should love what he made, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. And how do you love somebody unless you love yourself? It's impossible. That's right. So if we start loving on ourselves, and that doesn't mean, you know, it, it means just believing in ourselves, believing that God created you for a purpose. You don't have to know the purpose. You just know there is a purpose. It starts changing things up here. And when you feed yourself the right foods and the right supplements, it starts changing things up here. And when you start changing things, this goes back to it, change your thoughts, change your world. Here's one deeper, change your reality. Okay, in other words, if you're in a battle, I'm just going to lose. I'm just going to lose this battle. You know, they're going to beat me. They're going to shoot me dead. I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Hey, Joe, I see you're in the foxhole with me. Just give it up. They're going to kill us. It's, it's all over. If you think like that, what do you think is going to happen? You're a dead man. You you're start. a dead man. That's exactly right. But if you say, Joe, here's the deal. I'm going to jump out of this foxhole and you start shooting. Just don't shoot me but you start shooting and I'm going to get to the next foxhole and then I'll cover you to get to that foxhole. And you start having a what? A plan. And then you engage. And these are all things, people, you need to engage in health. You need to engage in, in understanding that, well, my heart, even though I feel good, it could be not good because I have Twinkies every night. Because I have a Jew's 16 ounce steak every night and I have baked potato with butter and sour cream every single night. These are not good. So point being is you want to take supplements and you want to love yourself. You want to feed yourself and you want to get right. Exercise does not mean you have to go work out for an hour a day. And still, some doctors will tell you that and you go work out for an hour a day. And you, like people go, uh, no, you know, so it immediately is a killer because they just killed the steps between A and B. So here's the steps. Go take a walk. You can do that. You can take a walk. You don't even have to walk fast. Just take a walk right. and then learn to take the next walk and the next walk. And pretty soon you walk a little faster and you just slowly pers and guess what? It's going to do stuff. But the biggest thing is you got to change your intake of what you're eating and you got to change your supplements and you got to change your thoughts. Ronnie McMullen's with us, folks. He's giving us some, hey, we got to get past the dark winter, okay? Don't let somebody put that on you, okay? I understand media, the, the, we've watched this, fiasco in washington we're being told it's over depression we look out for a stock market da -da, the snow's piling up the power's out stop it okay we know these are really reality issues but we're not going to let it dictate us so ronnie mcmullins at get the t.com that's www.getthetea.com he's running a special it's all about the heart right now with heart love and uh, of course his famous tea which is great tastes great Flush, flushes you out, makes you feel much better. And also, uh, uh, Allison. Niacin. Yes. But you and also. Niacin is something that's really, you will, sometimes you'll get a flush and you'll get all red and itchy. And some people go, I don't like that. I do because it says something's happening. Your, your body is reacting to, and it's in a good way. So this is like the tea. People go, oh, makes me go to the bathroom. Right. That's, that's a good thing because what's coming out of you is not good. So that stuff's coming out so that what is in you is good. So these are all wonderful things. And this, is, this proves that my products are working. And you've also run in a special this month on Super Tea and GI Joy. Talk to us about this a little bit, Ronnie, uh, as you're continuing to give people uh, the right supplements. I right would say this, this, yeah, baby. GI Joy is one of my favorite products and I have tummy problems and not so much anymore, but if I do just kind of look like I've got a tummy problem, I, I pop GI joy, take a couple of pills. It's got colostrum. That's its main ingredient. And colostrum is, I, I, we could have a whole show on just colostrum. So it's a beautiful thing. It's really good for immunity. It's really good for your stomach. It's really good. Believe it or not, if you are gluten intolerant and you messed up and you took some, had some gluten by accident, it's really good to help with that too. So uh, if you had some really spicy spaghetti or your Mexican food got too crazy, you could take two of those and boy, it just kind of calms things down. So I love it. And of course the tea, we'd put the tea on every special because that's how important it is. And folks, when you're drinking the tea and it's flushing your system, it's, it's also 
giving you, uh, I believe, energy. Uh, I just want to ask that question. Is, is, do you get more energy? I, I think you do when the toxins are being released from your body. Absolutely. Um, the energy will come heavily. Um, the tea is, is energy. So when we say the tea that makes you go, it's a twofold. It does make you go to the bathroom and people go, oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> but it also makes you go, makes you have energy to go to get things done. And so, you know, I would just say this, if I'm going to get a boxing match with somebody my same size, age and all that, I would want them to have all their Twinkies the night before not have any tea because then I've got a good shot of winning because um, I'm going to have my tea and have all the toxins out and I'm going to feel better. So um, I would have the upper advantage. So point being is the tea will give you energy and take away the stuff that shouldn't be in your body. Is there certain supplements as well? And I know you have to be careful how you say this, but circulation is real important to the, to the human body, our circulatory system. And you're talking about, yep. it's all about the heart. Yep. What can we do to keep the heart healthy, the blood flowing, not getting clogged up cholesterol in the veins? Is there some supplements that can assist in along with diet and exercise? Funny you say that. It would just happen to be heart love. And it's also Allison Advance. And the difference, Heart Love's got a couple little pieces of difference. But Allison Advance is a higher dose of Allison. And Heart Love has a smaller dose of Allison. Still works like crazy. You know, that's the funny thing about these two products. People go, oh, I got to take two or three pills. That way it'll really work. You know, and it's like, you don't need to. So that's, that's what's fun is, you, you know, I don't have to get on here and tell people to take 20 million pills. I can just say, you know, if you're having Allison, one pill's good. You're taking Heart Love, one pill's good, one pill a day. And, and it'll last you a long time. And so you get the deal. Plus, let's not forget, if you punch in the coupon code Paul, you will get free shipping. Yeah, baby. Uh, free shipping on, on all the goods, sale items, or doesn't matter. You're going to get free shipping. So it just kind of puts, you know, more money in the wallet. We need that. And you think about it, folks, if you go to getthetea.com, that's www.getthetea.com. Of course, Brock's putting the phone number out there. You can pick up the phone and you could call that number as well and, and place an order. But if you're going to go there, think this through. Go ahead and get these specials. Make sure you have enough tea. Okay, make sure you get enough tea. So maybe you want to add a little bit more, throw it in the cart, and then use the promo code Paul. All the shipping will be free. Might as well camp, in, camp on that. And let's start... Let's make a goal. I mean, this is February. Let's make a goal that we're going to start uh, really concentrating on our health this year. And I, I'm tired. I'm not going to let the outside forces uh, bog me down. I'm not going to let them get me down. Okay. I'm going to keep working, keep looking up, keep the energy level going. And it starts in the mind, doesn't it, Ronnie? It does. It starts in the mind. And the heart helps get that thought process going. I want to, I love to get better. I would love to get better. Just say that to yourself. I would love to get better. I would love to get better. So now we have targeted arrows, don't we? We yes. know where to go with that. And you know what? I have a feeling I'm going to get better. I have a feeling I'm going to get better. So now your feeling is there with I want to, I love to. And, and you start putting that together. And guess what? You're just going to start getting better. End of story. The body does what it's, ready? Oh. Hold. It, so the, the body one, does what it's told. You know, the scripture says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Okay. There so, you go. so if you tell your body, I need metabolism, I need you to speed up. Okay. Oxygen levels, I need you to go up. Yep. Sugar levels, I need you to go down. But you got to do more to speak to it. You have to also then apply, apply it. Okay. And that's what I'm hearing you say. First, believe it, then apply it. And then watch what happens and speak and to it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. We got to feel that. You can't just say, well, I'm going to take this pill. Hope I get better. Really? I'm going to take this pill and I will get better. I'm already getting better. Yes. Just thinking about it, I'm getting better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling better already. The dark winter thing where we started the show with, it seems to be drifting away. Spring is around the corner, Ronnie. Spring, flowers, trees, green grass. Come on, think about it. Think about it, feel it. And you sing it. once you think about it and you feel it, you can become it. You and literally, literally could be, too, could be you? yeah, you, you could go somewhere and all of a sudden go, wow, there's some flowers and green grass. I was thinking about that this morning. I'm going to go sit there for a little bit. 
and then the bird lands on you. You know, I mean, we could sit here and we could paint pictures that are really beautiful, you know, but uh, it's better than dark winter. Right. Just because somebody says there's a dark winter doesn't mean it has to be that way. I'm afraid that uh, maybe, you know, again, President Biden may not have meant it to be in such a, a, a desperate way. But by speaking that out and confessing that out and everybody grabbing a hold of that may have caused things to manifest the way they do. I mean, if you get a bunch of people headed in the one direction, you know, it's hard to turn the Titanic around, you know? And well, absolutely. And, you know, I won't call him his title. I'll call him Joe Biden. Okay. And for me, yeah. <laughs> Joe Biden, anyway, we won't go down that road. But long and the short of it is, the same road that he got there is the same road he's protruding, protruding out to us and giving us and, and projecting is be the better word, projecting out to us, dark winter, take this on, feel it, think it. Well, a lot of people have not listened to this broadcast. So they're on that road and yeah. guess what? You're going to be on a dark road. But if you say, no, nah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't have time for this. I kind of like the green grass and the flower thing. That was kind of cool. I kind of like the fact that we can get better. And I kind of like the fact that if I love on somebody and think about it, that guess what? Things are going to change. I kind of liking all that stuff, you know, and what else can I do? You know, I used to tell somebody and they said, yeah, we have this old car and it doesn't run very well. And, this, and I said, so why don't you buy a new one? Well, we don't have the money. I said, well, why don't you think about having the money? What do you mean? Start believing you'll find the money it'll come to you. And when you start thinking, people don't realize what the creator put on our shoulders. It's right. a supercomputer. It is a supercomputer with a GPS system to the creator himself. I mean, you can't get any better than that. So why are we x name on the head A? <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> we need to be thinking this way. So long story short is the way you think, you know. Not just thinking, thinking, right? Yeah. I mean, not to. Well, you know what I do is when I, when I sit and, and I pray, sometimes I'll sit there and I'll think about God. And five seconds later, literally three to five seconds later, I'm thinking about the next bill I've got to pay. And I go, does God really care about the bill I have to pay? Does he really care? So the, my point to this is it's the distraction that goes so quickly, so quickly. Just even when you close your eyes, and you're like, okay, I'm going to think about God. I'm going to think about beautiful things. I'm think about love. Boy, I didn't pay the gas bill. You know, I mean, it's like that quick yeah. and you have to, you have, you have to train yourself because we're living in a really crazy world right now. And when you train yourself to be one with God, yeah. you become that. So people uh, adding, changing their diet, including supplements into the diet has to be a reconditioning. It's, it's, it it's, really does, Ronnie. but you got to believe it and you got to feel it. It's, you know, and not for them to work. I got to believe that it's going to work or it won't. It's the herbs are going to work no matter what you think. If you think they're a piece of crud, they're still going to work. But can you imagine if you open the door to the receiving and saying, I know it's going to heal me and help me and feel better. And, and you believe that and you feel that, do you know what's going to happen between the herbs actually working on their own, no matter what you think, and the fact that you're receiving that, it's like putting a supercharger on this engine and guess what? It does great things for your body. And people, I'm telling you, it will, it will, it will do that, but you have to apply it. Point your arrow, feel the arrow and go for it. And you do that and you're going to have a different world you're living in. Folks, do this. Go to www.getthetea.com. Just simply do it. Open another tab right there. Getthetea.com. Look at all of the different supplements. Understand some of you are struggling with your blood sugar. Some of you are struggling with depression. Or some of you can't sleep. Ocean sleep is a great product. Uh, there's all kinds of things here, but look at the specials he's running. It's all about the heart. And really, it all starts in the heart. He wants you to get the heart love and the tea. And also there's a super tea that he has and the GI joy and the niacin get all these things so that you can help your body and start speaking it by faith. That's get the tea.com get the tea.com use the promo code, Paul, get the free shipping and get ready. Ronnie. I mean, that's what we got to do. Isn't it? It is. It is. And if you take this to heart, Oh, there's that heart word again. If you take this to heart, I'm telling you, things will change in your life. I don't care how bad it is, how dark it is. You can change things. The storm is about to be over. 
Ronnie McMullen giving us words of wisdom here. Uh, again, there is going to be a brighter day just ahead. Forget about the dark winter. Let's look ahead. Ronnie McMullen, GetTheTea.com. Again, folks, www.GetTheTea.com. Ronnie, I appreciate it. Again, you inspire me, inspire others out there. Keep up the good work, my brother. Just think of white winter instead of dark winter. It's a white winter. Washes it clean. Yes, cleansing. Thanks Thank for having me on the show. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Ronnie.